low morale, high turnover and a toxic work environment. Tonight, a new damning report is already forcing change at Hart, Hillsborough County's Transit Authority. After the report was released, Hart's CEO was suspended with pay. Tonight, ABC Action News reporter Chad Mills is in the studio with more on the report's conclusions. Chad. Well, guys, people across Hillsborough County depend on Hart buses to get to work, to get to doctor's appointments and to get to the grocery store. But the report found that the Transit Authority is failing in these three ways. Lack of effective leadership, low morale and high turnover. That's what David Adams says he discovered in his months long investigation of Hart and its CEO, Adelie Legrand. I believe Ms. Legrand has created an environment of fear and intimidation. In a Monday meeting, he shared his report with Hart's board of directors. According to Adams, he interviewed 50 former and current employees. He found that Hart, under Legrand, did not have a strategic plan, lost multiple members of its leadership team, and may have violated policies when one employee was improperly paid severance and another was working for Hart and a transit authority in New Orleans at the same time. He says Legrand was demeaning and retaliatory to some of her employees. And Adams even read this resignation letter one worker sent Legrand last year. I tender my resignation due to the hostile work environment and toxic culture you have single-handedly created. Legrand's attorney pushed back against the allegations. There is contrary evidence that is strong and persuasive. And soon Legrand will have a chance to defend herself. But for now, now we find ourselves in a precarious situation. She's suspended with pay after board members felt they had to do something sooner after seeing the report. This was almost like something out of a movie. At this point, board member Joshua Wostel doesn't know what Legrand can say to get her job back. I just don't know what could supp be supplied at this point to justify this type of pure negligence to the Hart organization. Legrand will have a chance to defend herself in an upcoming public hearing, most likely in early May. Then board members will have to decide whether to reinstate her or fire her. And Chad, with Legrand now suspended, Hart has a new boss, right? For now, an interim boss, Scott Drainville, was appointed the interim CEO today. He is a current Hart admin who I'm told does have good experience with that agency. In the studio, I'm Chad Mills.